My name is John Bastianelli. I'm the EVP of product management over at Presonus. I'm in charge of the product management department. I have a group of product managers um, that are totally awesome. I love working with them. We have a great team. Um, we're responsible for uh, defining the products um, and uh, that entails talking to customers, mining data from the market, looking at trends, and managing the product life cycle from inception to end of life. I'm really excited about our studio monitor line because now we have a complete line from the Aris line, which is high quality budget speakers, all the way up to high end Scepter line. Um, as you all know, um, initially we came out with the Scepters and then the Aris, but now we filled out the line with the MTM speakers, the 44 and the 66, and the R65 and the R80s. How does one choose which monitor? Uh, that's kind of a complicated question because everyone's needs are different. Um, obviously, budget is probably the number one, um, especially with our target, target customers. Um, the other part of it is, of course, space. Um, how much space does one have? You know, most of our customers don't have the perfect room. They don't have the perfect acoustics. I mean, they may have some, some bass traps thrown up or makeshift egg cartons on the wall and things like that but still it's not perfect. So offering our customers some EQ settings on the back and also the documentation and explanation and support videos on how to basically set their speakers up in, in the not so perfect room is what we set out with the Aris line. What we found is that a lot of these types of people are growing, they're getting better at their craft. So our strategy with the studio monitors um, was to offer them um, great products that are more akin to higher end products, meaning that they're tuned um, flatter, they're, they don't have that smiley face, that low frequency bump, high frequency bump, um, to give them really solid tools to make better mixes. An E44, for instance, um, is a wonderful speaker that'll give them extended bass, a wider image, kind of a microscope into more of the mid-range so they can tweak some of those things like vocals and guitars that sit there that are have that you that may be difficult for them to place in the mix. I've always loved MTM speakers, but as everyone knows, MTM speakers, um, the ones that are currently in the market, are very expensive. I felt there is a real need for taking the MTM benefits and leveraging them down and making them available for everyone. We spec'd in very high powered amplifiers compared to a lot of the other speakers and tune them very efficiently. And also tune them in a way that it will produce an accurate listening experience throughout the spectrum. All of our studio monitors have that strategy from the E4.5s all the way up to the Scepters. Well, the reason why we chose the design philosophy for the R speakers and specifically the AMT tweeter, I've always loved the sound of those. There are some great products in the market, but again, they're extremely expensive. So we set out to capture some of the, the, the ultra high frequencies that the AMT um, provides to the customer. But I should also say that we also set out to put um, very high powered amplifiers um, to support modern music such as um, electronic, hip hop, etc. One of the benefits of where we are right now as a company is that we have um, an in-house speaker expert. Uh, Hugh Sarvis from Works Audio. Um, I enlisted and worked with him um, on the tuning of the R series speakers. Um, he was involved in specifying uh, the porting of the speaker, um, also the the curve of the um, the waveguide for the AMT tweeter. Um, so it was it was great fun working with Hugh, and Hugh did a wonderful job. Um, and it's only a start of some really great future products coming up the pike. The reason why we're offering the customers choices, meaning the choices of the baffle, the blue or the black, um, I've gotten feedback across the board from people to say, I love the blue baffle, and some people to say, no, I don't want the blue baffle, I don't want it, people to you know, draw attention to the speakers, they have to be invisible. So we've given the customer both choices. It's probably one of the most enjoyable experiences that I've had in my entire years in this business and I'm looking forward to the future and our new products that we're gonna to offer to you guys.